Hello, welcome to my channel, friends. So this is your Shrinivas Kalwad. Okay. So in this session, I wanted to just explain about the ESC. Okay, and the motor, the motor, and battery. Okay. So we'll start with uh, the ESC. Okay, and the motor. So because so motor, you have to just go through the data sheet. whenever you are choosing the motor right so if you are choosing motor what i said you guys was in the data sheet please go through the data sheet i have showed you guys that time so if you see it picks around uh, 300 g to 800 g right so if you are looking at the gram specific wise then you will come to know what will be your total Uh, thrust capacity. Okay, so each motor, if you consider 500 grams, it will be 2 kg of thrust it will provide. Okay, so then, uh, what is the current uh, rating of this one? It says around here maximum current 13 amps. Okay, so then how to choose the ESC on that? Right. So for that one, the ESC uh, you can choose around 20 amps. how so always keep esc whatever uh, total uh, max current of your uh, motor right it should be uh, 5 amps or 10 amps greater than your motor current uh, drawing capacity maximum current drawing capacity of motor okay uh, is if it is uh, 30 amps then you make uh, your esc or you select your esc of Uh, 20 amps, 25 amps. Okay, 25 amps is better. So what I am I am using is 30 amps. Okay, 30 amps. It's very safe to use 30 amps. So because whenever you are flying higher, right, your thrust will be more. So if your thrust will be more and your motors will be spinning at the faster rate, so it creates the uh, the current will be very higher. Okay, so because of that current high current, so if you are choosing uh, 30 amps motor. drawing car motor motor which uh, draws the 13 amps and the esc also is the same value then there is no buffer uh, current carrying capacity of this esc okay this will burn out and everything will be in damage so that's why you just make sure whenever you are using the motor uh, the current capacity of the motor okay whatever you are using 13 amps for example You choose twenty five amps. So always your ESC should be ten amps or five amps greater than your motor drawing capacity. Okay, so that is very important. So which will give you the voltage, right? That is battery. So battery you have also you have to choose very carefully. So depending upon your uh, first thing is your size of the drone. Okay, you cannot use the nano drones this battery because it is heavier. so you have to very uh, carefully choose your components depending upon the weight of your drone okay and if you keep on increasing the uh, battery capacity right now it is 4500 now if i keep on increasing 6000 milliamps if i use it so anyway flying uh, uh, rate will be higher in the sense on the air it will be flies longer time but the weight of the battery will be very higher first of all drone will not fly okay so that's how we have to balance all the components that is very important okay then so after motor and drone this is the battery which gives you voltage right so this one which battery to use that is also mentioned in your data sheet okay see this data sheet will have the first number of cells to be used if it is lipo poly or nickel Uh, cadmium some some other batteries if you are using 6 to 10 cells what there is or 2 to 3 cells so this the basic thing you have to follow with the motor on that you have to select all the things okay you got it right esc current drawing capacity should be at least 10 or 5 amps higher than the motor drawing capacity that is must okay yeah so that's it i wanted to explain Thanks guys thank you for watching please like share comment okay and subscribe